If you're fed up of struggling to get the lids off of your part used paint tins, this video is the perfect one for you. So we see it all too often, you part used a tin, you might use a little bit out of a tin lots of times, put the lid back on and store it till your next project requires a little bit more stain, varnish. In this case, I've got some Osmo oil, so you only use a small amount at a time, but it's coming in a quite a big tin. So you find you're taking the lid off and sealing it back on quite often. Now what that leads to is you just destroy the lid because a little bit of residue gets left on the top of the tin. You put your lid back on, that then dries and sticks the lid on. So the next time you come to it, you've got to almost destroy the lid to remove it and then in turn you're ruining the seal of the lid so the stuff inside the tin will actually start to go off and form a skin as well because it's not perfectly sealed anymore. So I'll show you what you end up doing. Something like this, you end up bending all the way around the tin. This one's not actually come off too bad, it's given off in one piece, but you end up with quite a nasty residue and you can see there there's a nasty film formed inside that tin and that falls in the stain and causes you havoc with your finish so you get lumps in your finish. I'm just going to get rid of that. Now if you want to avoid this happening to you and a really simple almost free technique to stop this from happening this is what you need to do. So we're going to use I call it palette stretch, but you can just use normal household cellophane. And we're just going to stretch a, a piece out, not stretch it, just so it's loose. Lay that over the tin, and then we put our lid back on in that way. Now most professionals will tell you you've got to really clean the lid before you put it back on, and that will prevent it from sticking. Sometimes, that's not always the case. Sometimes even the smallest of residue, even if you rag it off, and clean it as best you can will stick the lid on. The worst case or worst tins for it are this style with the V-band clamp because they've got a foam seal in the top of the lid. And if you get any residue of paint on that and it dries, it just rips the seal out the next time you open it. So this technique will really help with that style of paint can. So just doing that simple, pull that cellophane off and the next time you come to open that lid, it will come out dead easy and the cellophane actually helps to seal the paint inside as well. If you want to go really overkill with it, make sure that you don't get any paint set in there at all. Once you've put the lid on and that's still attached, we'll pretend that it is, you can just wrap the whole tin up from that point on. So you can stretch around it, make sure you stretch it out. And if you're not going to use this tin, maybe it's some gloss paint that you used in your house and you're not going to use it for maybe two or three years till you redecorate again next time. If you do this tip, there's no chance whatsoever that that paint's going to go off or form a film inside the tin. It's perfectly sealed. So, looking at the V-band clamp, this is a brand new tin of paint, but I think, I've just checked, and I think, no, it's not stuck. But you can see, even a brand new tin here, it's quite difficult to get the lid off and there is actually a tiny bit of paint residue on there and you can see, if I zoom in on that, at the lid of the tin there, you can see this, the pink bits, that's actually the seal, the rubber seal or foam seal that sits in the top of this lid that are attached to the top of the tin there. So that's already degraded the seal and that's the first time that tin's been opened. So it only gets worse from then on. As soon as you use this and got a residue on there, that will then dry to the lid. Your lid is really difficult to get off, so you've got nothing really to lever against with this style of lid, and you end up destroying the whole thing, and the seal is part of the bit that you lever against to open it up. So it really knackers them up if they get stuck on. So it's the same principle with this style of lid. You just stretch the cellophane over, dead simple and sit it on top and you've got no more stuck lids. That will come off dead easy next time you want to open that tin. All the way around. Just like that. Like I mentioned before, 
if you want to really belt and braces it, we just start wrapping it up with the, with the stretch wrap and we form a complete seal using that cellophane around the tin. You can wrap that up three or four times, keep going around it and there's zero air going to get inside that tin and allow that paint to dry. So here's a couple of tins that I've sealed up previously and have sat in the paint booth for at least a couple of weeks so they've had plenty of time for the lids to dry on. Let's just see if they've see how easy the lids come off. See this the paint, any residue paint is separated by that layer of cellophane. There's no dried paint in the tin, so there's no skin filmed inside there and that lid couldn't have been easier to get off. You can also reuse the cellophane if it's not got any dried paint on it that's going to fall in the tin, feel free to reuse it. Same on this one, don't know how old this one is, bigger tin, still got the cellophane on it, these are always a bit more difficult to open because there's a bit of a pressure fit on there. There we go. Absolutely zero damage to that rubber seal. And you can see where the paint's got on the cellophane. That would have made a right mess of that foam seal. I'm just going to discard that and put a fresh piece on there so that we don't create any havoc next time. simple as that. Couldn't be any quicker, easier or really cheaper solution to sealing your paint tins. Hope you found that helpful. I'll pop a link into the description for a roll of this stretch wrap on Amazon so that you get an idea of what I'm using. I think it's 450mm wide. No, it's 400mm wide. And it's uh, like an industrial pallet stretch, I think it's called, it's a technical term. It's a bit, little bit thicker than your standard cling film that you get in your household. And it's obviously 400mm wide and not 300 like cling film is, but it's exactly the same principle. I hope that's helped you out and I'll see you next time.